Hi, Roy Williams with Airframe Components, and welcome back to episode six of the 1969 Piper Aero Restoration Project. Uh, it's been a few months since we had our last episode. Uh, at that time, we had the aircraft back from avionics, uh, the panel was complete, uh, we had the seats uh, recovered and getting ready to go into the aircraft. Uh, we have the aircraft here at the paint shop, and we uh, have the uh, base coat of paint on the aircraft. So we delivered the aircraft to uh, Sturgis Aviation here in Sturgis, Michigan. And today I have Danny King with me, owner of Sturgis Aviation. And uh, Danny, uh, as a background on your history, uh, how many years have you been painting airplanes? We've been painting aircraft since 1978. 1978, okay. And then how long have you been here in Sturgis, Michigan? We've been in Sturgis since 1999. Okay, 99. And then you and I have been doing business since about 2000 when we started uh, doing business together. And uh, it works out good that you uh, paint the wings and control services that we repair at our facility. And it makes a good uh, turnkey uh, project for customers for us. But uh, so Danny, uh, typically uh, the Piper Arrow is something you uh, don't focus on. Your focus is more on the uh, uh, corporate jets, corporate turboprops, the King Airs, Citations and such. About uh, how many of those aircraft do you do per year? We do approximately 15 aircraft per year. 15 a year. And then when an aircraft comes in for complete strip and paint, uh, how long does it take uh, to do an aircraft? And then uh, about how many man hours does that figure out to per aircraft? On a single engine aircraft, we typically have around 200 man hours and will take us about three weeks to do. On the light to mid corporate jet types, usually takes us like four weeks and we'll have anywhere between six and seven hundred man hours. Six and seven hundred man hours. So it takes quite a bit of labor to get an aircraft complete all the way through then to get it stripped down and then painted back up. Yes, a lot so of labor. It doesn't happen just overnight and don't just wave your hand over it then. But uh, so on this uh, Piper Aero project here, uh, of course during the restoration project uh, we stripped the paint off the fuselage. We, uh, of course, put brand new wings, brand new controls on it. So we delivered it to you in bare metal, but uh, even then there's still quite a bit of prep work that has to go into the aircraft. Yes, we have to clean and prep the aluminum uh, for the epoxy primer. And then this particular airplane, uh, because we painted it silver, we have to do a base of gray. Then we do two coats of metallic color and then two coats of clear coat. So you have quite a few steps in the paint process, but even then in the preparation, uh, all the fiberglass parts need to be sanded down and built up. Uh, we had some trim work around one of the access doors as well. So uh, it, it, there's still a lot of detail items that have to be accomplished when the uh, aircraft's getting ready for uh, prime coat then, right? Yes, typically the older, especially the single engine airplanes, all the fiberglass work usually have stress cracks, so there's always a lot of repair work and extra priming that has to be done. Sure, sure. So we got the aircraft up here, all the prep work done, goes into a prime coat. Even after the prime coat, there's still some final sanding that has to be done just to get everything smoothed up, correct? That's correct. Yeah. We'll look it all over, and sometimes we find little dings after the prime coat, so then we'll fill the little dings and add a little bit of different primer on top of that. Sure. And then as you mentioned, uh, we did a silver paint on this aircraft. Uh, typically, uh, the standard will be the Matterhorn white base coat uh, for most aircraft. But for this particular one, Sydney wanted a silver base coat. So as you mentioned, there's extra steps that have to go into that. So you're talking with a prime, a gray coat, two coats of metallic, two coats of clear. There's quite a few coats of paint being built up onto that. Yes, we're typically on a white airplane. We would do the prime coat and just three coats of the white color. All right. So there's about twice the coating on a metallic airplane. And then on this particular aircraft, we're gonna go with three different trim colors. So then each trim color will have to be masked off and then painted and then clear coated separately. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, yeah. So in a metallic, uh, quite a bit more labor goes into this project. <laughs> quite a bit more labor and quite a bit more materials. And which drives the cost of the uh, project. So, but you can see uh, the finished product here, uh, quite a gloss coat on this thing. The shine really comes out. So uh, I'm sure when we get all done with the trim colors, it's gonna be an exceptional paint job on this. It'll really stand out, really pop with that silver base coat on there. So during the painting of the aircraft, uh, of course, all the control surfaces are removed from the airframe, uh, the flaps, the ailerons, but in this case also, 
the stabilator, uh, gear doors, cowlings, all that stuff has been removed. So now uh, all the flight controls will have to be balance checked, uh, have to be reinstalled. How long will that take typically to put all the uh, items back onto the airframe? Typically takes one guy about a day to put all the flight controls back on the airframe. And then all the detail work in the end, it usually takes three of us about a day to do all the detail work, placards, uh, cleaning of the windows, touch-ups here and there. Sure, sure. And then once the final uh, assembly is complete, then you're going to be signing off on the aircraft uh, with a logbook entry with the uh, paint codes and uh, say that it's, all the controls have been balanced and such. Is that correct? That's correct. All right, all right. Well, good. Well, Danny, I appreciate the work you've done on this uh, aircraft. It's really looking nice. Uh, you know, like I said, it's taken us longer than we expected to get it up here, but uh, you jumped right on it and you've uh, been nice enough to work it in between other uh, projects here. But uh, once we uh, get done with uh, the trim colors, I'm sure this uh, aircraft is going to be an outstanding uh, paint job and really uh, be an eye catcher on the ramp once we get the aircraft complete. So that's it for today's episode. Join us next time when we uh, have all the trim colors on the aircraft, have the aircraft uh, delivered back to our shop, and all the final details taken care of uh, for the first flight of the uh, uh, finished uh, Piper Aero project.